Welcome to Ask an Editor, the podcast that helps video editors build a long-term career. I'm Jesse Kepke, a documentary and commercial editor for the past 15 years, and today we have a question from Bark. Bark asks, how do I begin and maintain a more consistent network of people to talk and work with about editing and post-production in general? I'm kind of region locked in Asia. Networking is one of the all-time questions for video editors. Whether you work in Los Angeles, the epicenter of film, or halfway around the world in Asia, how do you begin to network and how do you maintain that network? You can even be region locked in the United States. I grew up in a small town in Montana and currently live in a small town in Colorado. You know, neither are a huge film or TV location. And yet I've been on Zoom calls with people in the UK in Africa, messaged with an Oscar-winning editor, and worked for people in Florida all the way to Japan. So in our modern editing era, there's definitely a way to connect with other editors. Before we get into how I do this, here's a quick resource for you. Story for editors. If you have ever wanted to know how to tell better stories with your editing without reading a ton of screenwriting books, this is for you. Just visit buildmyeditingcareer.com slash L slash story and use the promo code podcast to save 20%. So how can you begin and maintain a network when you are region locked? The first step is to find a place online where editors hang out. There are user groups on Facebook like Adobe Premiere Pro Editors and Ask an Editor. A really great group, but no relation to this podcast. There are also Mastodon servers like PostChat.io or Discord and Slack channels, even Reddit. Where editors hang out shifts around every five to ten years. We're kind of seeing something like that happen right now with all the craziness on Twitter. But we do like hanging out. We all sit in rooms by ourselves, often with no windows, and we don't talk to people. So any chance we get to talk with other people just like us, we definitely like doing it. Once you find them, just start talking. Comment on people's posts. Ask questions when you're stuck. I don't know how many technical issues other editors have helped me solve over the years from just asking about it online. If you have an answer for someone, share it. Be generous, be kind, be welcoming, and stick around, and you'll develop some great online friendships. And then comes the hardest part of this whole thing. Send an editor a message. You can thank them for the work if it inspires you. You can ask a more specific question like, what decisions went into making that cut? And you can even be bold and ask them to jump on a video call for 15 minutes. Face-to-face is always how relationships are built. And since you can do it physically, just do it through a video call. Keep it short. Ask where they are or how they got into video editing. I found it's always helpful to have a couple questions, a couple specific things about editing that kind of gets the ball rolling. 15 minutes will go a lot faster than you expect if you just do a couple of these things. The second part of Bark's question was how to maintain a network. You can do this by simply sticking around. That's a big key. A lot of people will show up, they, you know, interact a little bit and then they're gone and everybody else just moves on. So if you just stick around, you're going to do really well. And you can also check in with the people that you've connected with maybe every three to four months. After you have a video call with someone, just immediately set a notification in your calendar or a reminder app to check in and then just do that on a repeat. So to recap, find where editors are hanging out online. Start commenting and interacting. Message someone you connect with and get on a video call for 15 minutes. Then stick around and set a reminder to check in three to four months later. The very fact that Bark, who lives in Asia, can message me, who lives in Colorado, and now you all are hearing his name, along with dozens of other editors listening to this podcast, shows that this does really work. And that's the great thing about modern editing, is we're not stuck to our region. We can reach out and build relationships, and that's uh, one of the key foundations of a long-term editing career. If you are region locked, this whole list still works. You can just add physical meetups instead of a video call. And that's great. When you're able to actually meet somebody in real life, that's always really fun. So thanks for the question, Bark. This episode actually wraps up season one for the Ask an Editor podcast. Thank you all for listening. I hope these answers have helped you build your editing career. We will be back for season two on May 1st with more questions and some special guests. So stay subscribed and keep an eye out for season two. If this episode helped you, consider sharing it with another editor. If you have a question that needs answering, or if you are interested in sponsoring season two, just visit askaneditorpodcast.com. Thanks for listening and keep cutting. Keep cutting.